Hey y'all, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm coming to you in my pajamas and the hair mess, but I just wanted to show you how I start my meal prep for shredded check chicken. Now you guys, I do not like to meal prep a ton for like, like this is like freezer cooking. So I don't do a whole lot of casseroles and a lot of like individual meals for the freezer. But I have found that if I can pre-cook my ingredients like my ground beef, taco meat, shredded chicken, have all that cooked ready to go in the freezer, it makes meals so awesome because I can take the shredded chicken, I can make quesadillas out of it, nachos, tacos, um, enchiladas, I'm saying all Mexican food, but other things like spaghetti and I mean anything you put shredded chicken in. This is delicious, so easy. I'm going to show you everything you need right now and then I'll just show you how I do it. I mean this is like the easiest thing possible and then once I have it all shredded up, I put it in the freezer in some Ziploc bags and then it's ready to go for the next few weeks. I don't have to worry about cooking chicken. So I do a whole crock pot of this at a time. So I've got a bunch of shred, um, boneless skinless chicken tenders just like raw chicken and I've got a half of a bag so that's about a pound and a half and I want to make sure my crock pot is full so I'm going to also take some chicken breasts um, and put those in there too. These are ones I got really good on sale. They were like $1.58 a pound. Anyway, which is pretty good. So I have that. I'm going to fill it up in the crock pot. I'm going to cover it with a little bit of water just until it's pretty covered um, because we want this chicken to be really tender and delicious. So I'm going to top it with some poultry seasoning, some salt, some pepper, and some garlic. I'm going to get all of that in the crock pot. I'll show you what it looks like, and then we're going to let it cook all day. Um, you want it to be falling apart. So at least six to eight hours, it can go longer than that. And I do mine on low. You can do it on high too, just kind of watch it and it's gonna be done earlier. But you want this to cook all day so it's so easy to shred. So let me show you what it looks like when I get everything in the Yeah, so I have a line in the crock pot. This just makes for easier cleanup. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can also season this however you like to season it. I'm just showing you the method really. So I have a bunch of chicken in here. I like to fill it as much as I can. I probably could have done a little bit more chicken, but this is fine. Um, and then I put about four cups of water. I just did enough to kind of cover most of the chicken. Um, and as it cooks, it'll have more liquid. This also turns into really good chicken broth. It's up to you. I'm not a big fan of making my own because I'm super picky about like having any kind of little bits in it. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's beside the point in my pickiness. Um, so I took the chicken breast, the chicken tenders, I put it all in here. I seasoned it with some salt, some pepper, some poultry seasoning, and some garlic. That's just what I like. I'm going to turn this on, make sure it's on low. This is going to cook all day. It is almost till it's 1030 here. And it's probably going to cook till 7, 8 o'clock tonight just because that's what time I'll have to mess with it. I will show you the next step. So first step, chicken in the crock pot, turn it on low, season it, and you're going to just forget about it all day. And then I'll see you back when it's done. So this has literally been cooking all day. It is almost 6 o'clock here. I have not touched this. It has cooked. It has cooked for, what is that, like seven and a half hours? <laughs> and it can go longer. You can go as long as you need it to. It is so tender. It's like fall apart tender. Fall apart tender. Um, I'm sorry about the extreme noise in the background. I have kids. <laughs> but I turned it off. I'm just going to let it kind of cool off for a second. And then what I'm going to do, this is the easiest way to shred chicken. Take it out of the juice and put it in a big bowl. Do not leave the juice in before you do this because it will spoil it everywhere and it will hurt you very bad. So I'm going to take my hand mixer and I'm just going to zip it up real quick in the bowl. It's going to shred it perfectly. So let me do that. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. And then I will package it into Ziploc bags. And it'll be ready for freezer for quick and easy meals during the okay, week. Okay, y'all, you were looking at perfectly shredded chicken. I got a bunch of it here. This will make a ton of recipes, a ton of quesadillas or tacos or whatever else you want to use this as a base to make any number of recipes. You can just search on Pinterest shredded chicken recipes and you will get hundreds and hundreds and thousands. So I just use my little KitchenAid mixer. I only put one of the little things on it because I didn't want it to get too like completely smushed up. You can do whatever you want. You can even put this in like a big upright mixer, but I just feel like why wash all that? 
it's up to you. But this is going to be packaged up into Ziploc bags and frozen flat in the freezer for easy recipes. So I will show you what that looks like when I get it packaged up. And it has been the easiest thing ever. So I'll hey see you guys in So I put it in Ziploc freezer bags. Um, that's just a Sharpie mark. <laughs> I messed up. Smeared it everywhere. But I have two bags here. All of that chicken fit into it. I try to get it as thin as possible in these bags. Get out as much air as I can. And I want it as thin as possible so that it will freeze really thin. And when I need a little bit of shredded chicken, I can just break off what I need. This is fantastic. And you don't even have to like pre... Or you don't have to like reheat this. Like if you're doing... Well, you have to reheat it. What I'm saying is if you're making a sauce, like I did um, chicken pot pie with this, and because I'm making like my gravy and my sauce, I didn't have to defrost this and cook it to put it in there. I just put it in there frozen and it cooks in the sauce or it cooks in the spaghetti sauce or the taco seasoning or whatever else. Just use it as a base for your freezer cooking. So this is how I do my... That is how I do. That is how I do my shredded chicken. It literally took me maybe 10 minutes total combined effort. The crock pot, of course, worked all day, but it just sat there. And all it is is putting the chicken in, seizing it, and then shredding it up with a hand mixer and sticking it in bags. And this is going to save me so much time for the week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe for new videos coming up, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, y'all. Thank you.